Today I'll be showing you how to autofill uh, data in one cell based on your selection in another cell. So over here I'm managing an event and these are the tasks that need to be done. And for each task I can select a lead from this drop down list. And as I select the lead for any task, this directory over here has the list of the leads, their positions, their names, and their phone numbers. So whenever I select a lead in this list over here, if I select, for example, event coordinator over here, then I automatically get the event coordinator's name and phone number being pulled from my directory over here. So I'll be showing you how to do this. For those who are not familiar with data validation, let me quickly show you how we can do this. Simply click on the cell, go into data, data validation, allow list. And then for the source of your list, I just selected the source, which was right over here. And within just 10 seconds, the data validation list was going. And now let me show you the main part, which is actually auto filling the data based on your drop down selection. So we're going to start off with the X lookup function equals to X lookup open bracket. Now the lookup value is whatever I select in cell B2. So I'm going to click on cell B2 here and the lookup array. Well, in cell B2, you can select the lead roles. So the lookup array for the lead roles is right over here. And the return array, what I want to return is going to be the corresponding name of that person. And I can go ahead, close the bracket and press enter. And right now it's giving me an error. Um, whenever this is empty, I don't want it to give me an error. I simply want it to be blank. So I'm going to go ahead, add a comma between this and write down if not found, uh, double quotes, double quotes. And there we go. Now it's showing blank. Now whenever I select something, so let's say uh, for a secure event venue, I want the event coordinator to be in charge. The event coordinator is Sarah Johnson. So I can come over here and select event coordinator. And as you can see over here, it returns the name Sarah Johnson. Now I also want to return their phone number as well. So I can simply go ahead and drag this VLOOKUP or this X lookup rather. And as you can see, it shows me the corresponding phone number as well. I'm going to go ahead and drag this down for my entire event task list. And as you can see, we have the data validation, the autofill lists going. So now we can go ahead and in any uh, task, for example, a higher event security team, we can go ahead and say, we want the security head to take care of that. So we get Michael Brown with this phone number and we can check over here. And that is indeed the correct point of contact. So that's how you can autofill cells in Excel based on your selection from another cell. I hope you found this helpful and thanks so much for watching.